Now we kind of know the storyline here. Clement is trying to stop Miss Allen from discovering that she's related to the Lamleys. Miss Allen is actually the Lamley granddaughter. So, so we've, we're, we're gonna have to stop Clement, right? I mean, we, we want, we want Miss Allen to become the rich and famous Miss Lamley and then, and then live happily ever after with, with, um, hold on a second. Live happily ever after with this gentleman. Mr. Radcliffe, I'm so glad to find you here. I've only just arrived, but I dare say you look very concerned. I was on my way to find you, and suddenly, here you are. How fortunate. I have just discovered evidence that leads me to a most shocking conclusion. And it is so scandalous that I am afraid it will affect the entire family. This is serious indeed. If I am correct, our cousin Clement is intimately involved with the Highwaymen and may in fact be their leader. Not the notorious Captain Mephesto. Exactly! Clement has been sending notes to the Highwaymen arranging for the holdups. His purpose all along was to steal Miss Allen's locket, which holds the key to her true identity. She is actually the granddaughter of Mr. Lamley. Upon my word. Upon my word! <laughs> okay, so Clement is actually Captain Mephisto! Which is impossible because we saw Clement talking to Captain Mephisto earlier. Huh. I... Huh? With her identity confirmed, Clement would lose everything. Miss Allen would inherit Mr. Lamley's estate, and you would be free to marry her. But with Clement revealed, the stain on our family escutcheon will not be easily removed. Dude, we're talking about true love here! Focus! And yet we have no choice. I have a plan to catch the Highwayman and allow us to confront Clement separately. What is your plan? Well, we know how they're leaving secret notes, right? What if we faked a secret note? Clement has been secreting his notes in the lantern to be picked up later by the Highwayman. I am sure he plans to place a note there later today. If I intercept the note and replace it, we can foil their entire scheme. That part sounds good. My plan is to replace Clement's note with one telling the bandits to go to Shepherd Forest at 6, which is an hour before the usual time. You can be there lying in wait for them. That will leave us an hour to confront Clement at the location he specifies in his note. That is a daring plan, and I believe it can work. I will be out arranging for a special welcoming committee for those highwaymen. As soon as we deal with them, I will come here and we will go to confront Clement. Before Clement returns to the library, I will prepare our note. Then, all that remains is to intercept Clement's note and replace it with ours. Take care. See you this evening. Until this evening. Ah, oh, Mr. Radcliffe. He's the very model of an understated gentleman. No, really, I would like it if he tried to show a little bit of emotion about, you know, finding his true love and whatnot. Like, you could pretend to care, sir. Even, even just a little bit. Just for me. Just for me. So let's just make up some bogus poem. So now for what is probably the most difficult puzzle of the game. That would be this puzzle, the Astrolabe puzzle. Get ready, this is a killer. What we want to do is spin the dials around until we get today's date. The date is 827. It changes depending on how many times you've fallen asleep over the course of the game. So this time it's 827. So let's just spin the dials randomly until we get it. So it looks like 26, 9, that's 7, 13. So I spin it once, and now I've got 227. And I spin it again, and now I've got 10, 14. And now it's 5, 30. And now it's 1, 14. Do you see why this puzzle is difficult yet? It seems to be completely random. That you, you just spin these dials around and you get random numbers and you have to just keep guessing until you get the correct number. 
and you've got over 600 possible combinations and it's 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 just horrific it is just awful okay i i honestly don't see any pattern with the numbers either you know if they followed a logical pattern that would make sense like if i move from one to two that always moves me ahead by three i i could maybe deal with that totally not the case okay so we've tried everything on 26 let's go to 27 27 I, 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 um, I, I played this puzzle for a really long time, and I, I took note of some of the dates, which were kind of close. Like, 824, 824. So that's how many days away? That's three days away from the one I want. 824, you can get that with 3117 or 2514. I don't see what's in common between 3117 and 2514. I don't see how those two combinations add up to the same number. I really don't. Let's see, uh, if you want 826, then you have 110, 713, 23, or 26, 6. Those all add up to 826. Again, I, I don't, I don't see the logic there. I don't see the logic at all. 8585 eight, five gives you 829. 2 2 gives you 830. 14 8, 118, those both give you 831. Now, other numbers, uh, uh, say, say you're in the month of uh, September. 9 2, so if you want September 2nd, that's uh, 2 11, and it looks like we're, we're done with 26. That didn't give us anything. Uh, let's go to 25. So 2 10 gives you 9 2. Uh, 1416 gives you 93. 813 gives you 94. 2019 also gives you 94. 1416, 93, 21. Th e you can see that it just sounds random. 2111 is 96. 223 is 99. 2119 is 912. Okay, so I'm trying to get 827. I don't see 827 anywhere. And really, is there a solution which is not just guess randomly until you get it right? Oh man, that looked like it was close. So really, the way to solve this puzzle is just through random guessing, but I figured out a little bit of logic to help us with this particular puzzle. Now you'll notice You'll notice that moving the left dial seems to move you around like a week. So we go from 8-4, I move it up once. I mean... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I got myself messed up. So 8-4, I move it... Move it 1, that gives me to 8-12. So that moved me ahead 8 days. So 8-12 to 19, so that moves me ahead 7 days. And come on, 27. Oh, no, that just moved me ahead seven days. So left dial seems to be kind of consistent that it, it will move you forward uh, seven days or eight days or sometimes six days or sometimes nine days. That doesn't seem to be consistent how many days it moves you up, but it does seem that it moves you up by a single digit number. That is, it moves this middle thing by a single digit number. So that's kind of helpful. If you if you found a number which is close to the one you're looking for, you can use the left-hand dial. And I actually have, like I said, I just spouted out a, a list of numbers. So, um, 1416, what was that? 1416 was, uh, 9-3. That's 9-3. Okay, so let me, let me move this back, because that's a week ahead of 827. Yes. I'll put the numbers in the note. Oh! Oh! This note looks perfect. Got it, got it. So how are you supposed to figure that out on your own? I don't know, but 1316 gives you 827. Oh, oh man. Okay. Okay. So, maybe that's how you're supposed to solve the puzzle on your own, is, you know, I just give you a huge list of numbers which work. Let me put those in the show notes. I will put those in the show notes to help you all out. 
but uh, maybe you're supposed to do is, is just use that and play around with the left dial, because the left dial changes it by a week. So, I mean, if you're like a, a week within the correct date, then that, that, that would be helpful. <laughs> um, oh man, I'm out of breath. I, I actually solved the puzzle. Okay, um, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be at Pemberley. Okay, so now that I have the right date, I can actually um, put the note into place and fool fool the bad guys. And this is going to lead to two, uh, you know, dangerous death scenes. So I'm going to end uh, here when I'm at the lantern. In the next video, I'll go inside and do those dangerous, dangerous death scenes with my ridiculously complicated note from the ridiculously complicated puzzle.